and I, I damn near cried almost whenever they offered me the job. When they called me that day, I was like, I was pretty, uh, I was super excited. Hey everybody, Josh here. I'm, I'm a YouTuber in the Course Careers IT course instructor, and we have Brandon on here who, who agreed to interview. He recently went through the course and got a job, so uh, thank you so much for coming on. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. So, like, can I ask first, like, um, I guess what made you decide to take the IT course with course careers? Um, so what kind of made me go into it was I was stuck at my job. I worked at Walmart. Um, I was there for about three years and I kind of was wanting more. So I decided to, you know, look around, see if I could pick up any skills. And um, one of the one of the guys that were sponsoring course careers, Caleb Hammer, shout out to him. Cool <laughs> dude. Uh, he... I saw he, he had a little ad sponsored and I was like, you know what, let me try it. And this is like during the time I, I just had a baby daughter, my, oh. my baby girl. Yeah. So she's um, turning six, six months. Thank you. And then, you know, I was like, um, I was like, I just took a dive into, it. I was like, you know, I feel like I can really push this, like, you know, and get this, get a good job. And it really helped, like, you know, seeing the videos that you posted about the people, like the interviews that you do, like, like with me right now, it really kind of just, you know, motivate me to at least try it and you know i'm now here okay, cool that's that's very cool um congrats first of all i didn't know that oh thank you thank you yeah, and then the next question i was going to be like what did you do before this and you, but you said you worked at walmart and like i actually used to work at walmart that's funny oh really yeah, yeah I, I noticed you used walmart a lot in the, <laughs> like in the videos and i was like did he work at walmart or is it just like a job he always puts on no way. But, yeah. yeah that wasn't I was an auto. Well, I, I was an automotive for about three years. So. Oh, nice. So I started in February twenty first, um, and I officially got their certificate on April eighth. I believe I got it, but the last like I I want to say like week or like week and a half, I was kind of nervous to take the exam. So mm. I, I could have <laughs> honestly finished it. I could have honestly finished it like a week and a half before. I was just so nervous and I kind of just stalled and procrastinated. Mm. But yeah, so I would say for February 21st until I officially finished and got my certificate April 8th. Okay. Oh, it's like not even like two months in. It's like a month mm. in. And then I, I seen in April in Discord is when you announced that you like you got hired, something like that. So uh, yeah, I got offered the job on the 26th. Okay. April 26th. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty fast mm -hmm. then. Um, do, were you like mm -hmm. applying? Did you start applying like right after you finished, or were you kind of like applying a, a bit before? How did that? How did that go? Yeah. Um, so right when I started the job search portion of the course, that's when I started. So I started way before. Okay. Um, I, uh, before I finished, so I definitely I was putting in um, a lot of applications. Not gonna lie, I was like. Maybe I, I probably put in like 300, 400 applications. Oh, nice. maybe nice. it was a lot. Do you, yeah. do you still have people like contacting you after the fact a little bit, like once in a while? Yeah. So I, I get emails. <laughs> it's not, it's not me. They're, they're never offering me a job. It's more like, Hey, we didn't choose you. I was like, ah, oh, dang. I was kind of like, ah, oh, dang. But I was like, I got a job now. It's okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm guessing they're still going, they're still going through applications on the jobs I did apply to. So I was like, ah, it's okay. Yeah. There's like a lag time. Um, you apply to like a lot and then maybe they won't even get to them like until like a month later or something like two months and then it's just like they start trying to make you to inter interview but you dog. Yeah, like if I do I mean if I do, I don't know. I might I might get an interview, but at this point now I think I, I think I'm okay with my job, you know. My job's pretty cool. Oh, I enjoy sure. where I'm working right now. That's good. Um where what kind of job or I I won't ask like where do you work, but like what kind of what kind of job is it? Like what do you do? So I am an IT like help desk. Um, that is my job role. IT help desk specialist, desktop support kind of. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, I'm just like at my desk. Um, recently, it's just kind of we have a um, two two big screens actually. One show one shows all of our it monitors the um, like the um, what's called, dang, I'm trying to think here. So like we have our equipment out at Cotton Gins. My my company works with Cotton, and we service the gins that oh, that um that make it or not make it, but you know uh, farm the cotton. Mm -hmm. And so we have like 
we have Maraki switches out there. Um, oh, we have little like, cradle points and like uh, we have like a Palo Alto. I'm not too sure if or if you knew that, but yeah. like and then it says it just monitors. It's it's Solar Winds. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, Solar Winds. Yeah, so it just monitors it and we kind of just sit there and if something does go down, I, I'll give them a call. You know, like hey, it's like is there any outages or anything like that. Um, Stuff like that, and I've also done a couple installations, like PC installs. I, I installed some RAM at a, at a, a con uh, uh, an office, mm-hmm. um, and then just like stuff around the office because I'm I am in in location. Mm. Um, so, like just stuff like that. It's kind of basic. Tr- I don't, I don't want to say basic, but like troubleshooting wise, yeah. Yeah, it it sounds kind of it sounds like you you work in a knock kind of like a network operation center. Because are you monitoring all those like networking gear, something like this? Maybe like mm-hmm. knock mixed with help desk or something like that. Yeah, we do, we do have a knock system, um, okay. and it shows all our gins and stuff that has all our equipment. Um, and it's really it's uh, right now it's only I, I believe uh, five of us there, so it's a really small little IT department, at least networking in the IT department. Mm. Um, and I have. Um, yeah, we, we kind of, it's kind of an open concept. So when I'm there in my, uh, on my desk, mm-hmm. I have my manager next to me. So when it, whenever, since I did just start uh, like May 2nd, so about a month, okay. um, he'll just kind of listen. He'll kind of just listen and, um, you know, if I do get stuck up on something or something, like he, he could kind of hop in and help me too. That's so nice. that, that's, that's real nice. That's nice. It seems lowish stress, not, not too many people. Or yeah, right, right now it's definitely it's definitely low stress right now because they have on season and off season cotton oh, growing. Oh, okay. <laughs> so right now it's off season, so uh, it's pretty slow right now. My, even my manager was like, "Yeah, it's like really slow. It's kind of weird." Um, but he said it should pick up a little bit whenever we do go into in season cotton. Mm-hmm. Um, and even then, he said it's not it's not even that much. It's like you maybe get you you'll get a, more calls, but it's not like back to back to back to back to back. You know. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. Can, can I ask like about your your salary for this job? Like around how much was it, and did you have to negotiate at all? Um. So they, whenever I did apply, when I was applying to jobs, I kind of wanted to start at like twenty two. That's what I was like twenty two an hour. That's mm-hmm. what I was aiming for. Mm-hmm. Um. Cause I know at least I can try to push for that. Um. But they actually wanted to start me in a range from twenty five to thirty dollars an hour. Oh for, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, and then they, the what they offered me, I was like, um, do I, I know it, my, in the back of my head, I <laughs> hear you like, just negotiate, you know, you could get maybe, a, a, maybe like a couple more, you know, two, one dollar more than an extra 2000. I was like, oh, I was, like, I, was just, <laughs> I was definitely a little, a little scared because where they started me was great. I was like, cause, um, just going from Walmart, you know, I was getting paid sixteen dollars an hour to mm-hmm. what they were paying me now. I was like, "I'm cool. I'm good with it." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I did, I ended up not negotiating at all. Uh, I kind of just took it. Gotcha. And they assuming they said like twenty five to thirty or something like this. Mm-hmm. And, and twenty five to. Gotcha. And then you're making sixteen, so that's like a, a that's a a decent difference, even if it's twenty five, right? Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a big change. I'm still trying to um get used to it. <laughs> and I did have my a couple, I get paid weekly, so it, my checks have been coming in, and this is probably the most money I've ever made. So I was like, um, I'm trying not to have lifestyle inflation yeah. from the money. So uh, you know, I'm just I'm saving the same percentage. I I always say before I save twenty percent of my my income, anyways. So mm. that's what I'm trying to do now. And you know, it's it's cool though. It's like I was like, dang, I was like, I've never had at least this much money before. And it's great for like me and my family, for sure. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, that's that's very cool. That's very cool. Uh, um, I remember when I, my first job, my, my first one was like, my first real job was maybe like $24 an hour or something like this. And it like changed, mm-hmm. like changed my life because I didn't have any money yeah. before that at all. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> So. I definitely, I definitely feel the same way. Like it was, like it really. Um, and I, I damn near cried almost whenever they offered me the job when they called me that day. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was pretty, uh, I was super excited, especially because 
So yeah, I, I quit my job at the end of March and Walmart. It was kind of a bad decision because I just had my daughter oh, in yeah. December. Mm. Yeah, but I kind of, I was called. So that kind of, it was kind of a good and a bad thing though, because it was like, um, I don't have a job. I did have emergency savings where I can kind of, you know, take my time finding a job. But, you know, I tried to find a job as fast as I could. Yeah. And um, I kind of just kind of was like, well, I'm, I'm like, I'm jumping in the deep end at this point. I was like, I just, I hope this, this course gives me a job. I remember my, my girlfriend was really nervous about it too. But, you know, I was like, just trust the process. But in the back of my head, I was like, what if I don't get a job? <laughs> yeah. But I just, I just, I just believed I would, to be honest. Yeah, you, it sounds like you put in a lot of work, uh, also. So that's that's a lot of applications too. Um, so yeah, good, good job with that. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of execution. Do you, do you remember? Um, did you have to do more than one interview, or like just that place you interviewed and you end up getting a job? So in total, I believe I with different companies. I well, I was applying to jobs other than. Uh, IT help desk just because you know I was trying to trying to just get a job it's like especially with a customer support something like that's over the phone I could get more experience that I can kind of leverage to when I do try to get a help desk job mm -hmm. um, but like in help desk in general the I had two companies that wanted to interview me the one the company I'm here now was two interviews and the, the another company um, it's okay I didn't I'm not working for them anyways there's Lubbock County Mm -hmm. Um, they all, they were also doing a tier two oh, shit. help desk job and I, I applied and, uh, there was one interview and they actually offered me a job. Uh, that was, that was 18 an hour. Um, but I was also kind of confused why it, it was less than what I would be <laughs> making a tier one. Yeah. Like I was like, eh. yeah, that's weird. But yeah. Yeah. Some companies just weird like this. I don't, I don't know why. No, I, I didn't know. I was like, um, am I going to do more for less money, I guess? I was like, I don't know. But at that point, at, at this point, you know, I was I was not getting desperate. But, you know, I, it was it was a job that, you know, I, that the course helped me get. So I was going to accept it. But a day later, literally a day later, this company that I'm working for offered me the job. That's so so that's, I was glad I waited. So lucky. That's so good. Yeah. And you're yeah. also like working with some decent stuff at that job. All of those like Meriki equipment and solar winds is like you know if you if you go to indeed and type solar winds you'll have there'll be like a ton of jobs in there right um so it's like yeah i feel you're getting a decent a pretty decent experience at the the one you're at now so that's like really good actually yeah for sure it's like um my my uh the people that hired me the two the two managers the technical service manager and then my manager the sysadmin they, they said um you know you'll you'll learn a lot from here like especially just experience wise Mm. and i was just like yeah i was like I'm, that's from here I was like, i'm trying to soak in as much as i can you know learning about the switches and stuff um like that it was really helping me too especially further at least if i want to further my career it'd be great cool cool and then um do you remember like when you think about like the interview process and, and all of those things is there any particular part of the course that you want to tell people like oh pay attention to here or like this helped me a lot or anything like that um i would my, at least in my interview, they did ask about Active Directory and just adding and deleting users on there. Mm -hmm. um, they saw that we did do it on the course. So I would say that and also just um, to touch up on your interpersonal skills, because um. I'm pretty sure in the course, you're really you're really like, you know, they're really going to ask you stuff about that. Um, and they really did. Most of my interview was just... Um, they really asked like how I would react to this, like, you know, if a customer's calling um, and this, like how I would be in the, the culture of the um, the company, mm. um, how I would interact with my other coworkers. And they even, they put on an example that one of the guys there, Mark, he, he was out for like four days doing a job. He was like, would you be willing to do that? And I was like, yeah, you know, um, and just like leveraging my customer service background at Walmart, they really like that as well. So they knew, I mean, you get a lot of people through Walmart, a lot of different <laughs> people, like from the ranges, you know, the super nice and, you know, the super mean and sometimes in the middle. Mm -hmm. So for sure. Um, sorry, I feel like I get off track a lot. <laughs> no, no, that's good. 
it's good. Especially it's really important for um, when you're breaking into IT and like entry ish level one, because the it, there's so many like human component to it, I guess, usually. So it's important to not discount that. Yeah. And then for like um, anyone who's watching this, who is thinking to get into IT or change their career or anything, do you have any kind of um, advice for them, like something that you did or you recommend they do anything like this? Big, big one. Don't quit your job before you find another <laughs> job. <laughs> it's just in general. I do that a lot. But I do that I'll, every every time, to be honest. Every time I do that. I don't really? Know why. Yeah. Because I, I usually get so tired and then I'm like, mm -hmm. screw this. I cannot. And I just like quit. And then I worry about it like afterwards. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, if you're confident enough, like, I guess I was pretty confident, especially about this course. Um, I was just, I just, just dove in. But advice wise, I mean, I would, what I did a lot though, was I did practice the labs a lot, just so I have a good understanding of everything that we were learning. Mm. Um, and I definitely would say to do the practice test before, cause it also helped me with um, the actual test that at the end of the course, uh, yeah. uh, that's course wise, uh, just, and then just, just keep practicing, you know, and I also outside of the course, I did look up a lot of stuff, um, just to get a better understanding on YouTube. YouTube is a big resource that you can use. Uh, and I used it yeah, a yeah. lot. Um, even now I'm, I'm, I'm studying for a plus and I'm planning on going back or going back to school at WGU. Oh, nice. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm watching Professor Messer, A+, plus, and then I just started some classes on uh, Sophia.com to transfer into WGU. Nice. So, you know, I'm just consistently learning right now. Good for you. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear that. You're doing all those, like, you know, positive things. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. Thanks so much. I, I really appreciate uh, taking the time to do this. I know it's like, you know, getting on camera is like not that easy. So thank you again. So. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, we'll see you in Discord. All right. Thank you. See you.